Houston, go. Roger, the president is ready at this time. Roger that. Thank you. We'll be getting right back. I need a voice check from you. If you'll look at the camera, stand right in front of the camera and give me a voice check for sync. Hello, Oval Office. Roger, go ahead. This is the White yeah. House board. Could you, could you look at the camera for me so we can establish lip sync? Stand by a second. Mr. Lucas? Yes. Could you look at the camera so, so he can establish lip sync, please? All right, Roger. Looking at the camera. Okay, we have good sync. Thank you. Roger. And Discovery Houston, we've got the uh, Mid Deck TV and we're standing by. Roger Houston, thank you. Discovery, this is the Oval Office. Do you copy over? Try again, please. And Discovery Houston, uh, we have a call for you from the White House. Do you copy? Roger, we copy and we're already. Uh, Discovery, this is the Oval Office. Uh, how copy over? Oval Office, we read you loud and clear. Uh, Discovery Oval Office, that's a Roger. Stand by for the President. Commander Bob Cole. Commander Bob Cole, greetings, we've... Good morning, Mr. President. Ah, th thank you. I was, I thought maybe I might have missed you. Well, listen, we know you've had some frustrations up there, but overall, I think we can all be proud of the fourth mission of the Discovery and all that you've accomplished. We've been watching down here, and I mean all of America, and I want you to know that we're rooting for you all. We saw a lot of human ingenuity at work, making the fly swatter-like tool. And as we watched Jeff Hoffman and Dave Griggs install it on the Discovery's arm, we had to acknowledge that was great work. And we're calling all of you up there now, the SWAT team. I want to congratulate astronauts Bob Cope and Williams on the maneuvers you've been putting the shuttle through. This is the 16th shuttle to go up and we're learning more about its versatility every trip. I see, I've seen you playing, excuse me, I mean demonstrating with balls and jacks and yo-yos and even a slinky toy in the zero gravity of space. And now I know you're doing this to make some educational videotapes for students learning about the laws of physics. That's really the best thing about our space program, the inspiration and challenge that it gives our, our young people. You've been conducting extensive tests on the human body's blood flow and digestion. And I want to ask astronaut physician Ray Seddon, how are these tests working out? And Ray, I'd also like to commend you on your dexterity in hitting that pin on the side of the satellite. I can, if you don't mind, I can think of a job on a ranch in California that you might be interested in. <laughs> but Senator Garn, I know that you're taking part in the health experiments, and Jake, how are you doing? You, uh, you're doing a fine job up there, but I could use your help down here right now in getting the federal budget uh, under control and arranging assistance for some people fighting for their freedom in Central America, so don't stay up there too long. You know, Jake, maybe in around... Well, Mr. President, I'm doing just great. I've missed you, but I'll be back on Tuesday. I'm well aware of the vote on the Nicaraguan aid on Tuesday night, and I'll be voting in just the way you'd like me to when I get back. <laughs> well, God bless you. And you know, Jake, maybe in around four years or so, uh, you could use your influence with NASA to uh, get a certain retired politician a ride on the space shuttle. Uh, well, I just want all of you to know how proud we are of you. Good luck, and God be with all of you. Anyone up there want Thank to... Thank you very much, Mr. President. We certainly enjoy being here, and I'm sure you realize that we're just the people in space uh, who are the working edge of the great team that's on the ground supporting us. Thanks again. Well, you're a 
great team up there, and we're all very proud of you. God bless you. Everything go? Everything go? Okay, bro.